Hey guys, so check these out. They were recently discovered by an anonymous source and shared widely all over Twitter. They are of these seats that are supposedly going to be the new plaid performance seats for the Model S's. By this point, you're probably well aware of the recent renders that were leaked for the Model 3 Highlands. These were leaked in the recent firmware that just got pushed out. I covered all about this in my last video, so if you guys want to check that out I will drop a link in the description below and a link up top there for you guys to click as well but do keep in mind I did make a mistake in one of the images that I posted in the video and that wasn't the exact seat you're getting so it's going to be so much better than what you see in that video It's going to be a lot more aggressive a lot more menacing and so much more bolstering involved but just for reference here I'm gonna plop it on the screen for you guys to see what it is on the current build and what it is coming up as a selectable option in the design studio. But yeah, Tesla is making a lot of changes in the option department, whereas before they locked up all of the design to a few selectable things such as white and black seats and the rim choices, that's pretty much just it. But now there is so much more that you are going to be able to pick from and make the vehicle yours. So now, unlike those renderings that we saw in the recent leaks with the firmware update, these one here where they were discovered by this anonymous source they have showed the full-on full-fledged photo of these performance seats and they look wicked it looks like these seats here are made specific to the model s plaids uh, but they could be making its way to the model x's and all its trim as well they may come in different variants because right off the bat here you can tell that this is made for the plaids because there is a plaid emblem smack dab right in the center of the seat right here and if i can remember correctly there is only two plaids in existence right now so that is likely going to be the seats going into those vehicles if we compare it to the current seats right now you're gonna see that it is a lot more sporty a lot more bolstered and that means that we are going to be able to see a lot of track oriented stuff using these seats alone although there is one caveat to this and it means that if you are a larger build you're not going to sit comfortably in these seats so it's best that you pick the non sport or performance seat that comes standard with the vehicle in addition to this it still has the perforation and the non adjustable headrest so that's something that is going to come from the standard over to the new sport seats as well nothing different there to be honest so if you guys were choosing between the two type of seats just really consider what you're going to be doing with the vehicle if you're going to track it or not so all of this is quite cool for the model s being the flagship sedan but let's be real here most most of us don't have the money to buy that type of vehicle. Most of us are really in it for the Model 3 Highland performance here and what we're going to be seeing in that vehicle when it does come time that it does get announced. At this very point, we all know that it's coming. It's definitely in the firmware updates and that means that there is no doubt that performance version is going to come with a different seat selection, but when it's going to come and what it's going to look like, that is up for question still. Going by the the seats that we see here right now it might be that Tesla would just make minor modifications to this take out the plaid emblem slap on a ludicrous emblem and there you have the seats that they can just put directly into the ludicrous model 3s now if you guys don't know why I'm referencing to ludicrous model 3 it's because it's coming and if you guys have no idea and you want to know more about it I have a video specific on that and the craziness that comes along with this vehicle you definitely don't want to miss out on that video and all the details to come along with it if you're planning to buy a Model 3 performance anytime soon. I'll drop that link in the description below and up top there as well. You guys click on that and let me know what you guys think. To wrap this all up, if I put these seats with the rendered seats next to each other, there is quite a difference in what we're seeing. However, again, these are just renderings and we don't know for sure what it will come out with. Honestly, it's really hard to say, but the best thing we can go off of is this Model S seat right here. What we're going to be seeing in the Model S is likely what we're going to be seeing in the Performance Ludicrous Model 3. Either way, what do you guys think of these new seats? Would you like it being inside your Model 3 or would you just stick with the standard seats that it comes with when you purchase the vehicle? Above all that, would you prefer that these become the standard seats for the performance trims on all models and have no other options for the standard seats at all? All of this is really questionable and I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. Please drop it 
it in the comments below. Fingers crossed we hear more about it in the following days and I'll definitely keep you guys as posted as possible. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And hit me up on Twitter at HeyJohnE. That's where I'll be able to communicate with you guys and update you guys on the latest things outside of just YouTube. Anyways, this should wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is John once again. Peace out.